flying has become much safer over the years, but that hasn't stopped people from feeling nervous and afraid. One question that gets asked quite often by jittery people boarding planes is why don't these planes come equipped with parachutes? At first glance, this seems like a valid question. After all, parachutes do help people to survive in some types of air emergencies. However, there are many reasons why airplanes don't carry parachutes, ranging from logistics to practicality. It should first be noted that parachutes are bulky and heavy, which means it would require a lot of space to provide one for each passenger, and this would significantly increase the plane's weight. Parachutes are also very expensive, which would greatly increase the cost of flying. In addition, commercial airplanes are not designed to be jumped from. Their exits just don't lend themselves to that practice. But let's assume for argument's sake that these obstacles were somehow overcome. Imagine a plane with a parachute for each passenger and proper exits to jump out from. The next issue would be that most people would not know how to use them. When people skydive for fun, the easiest and most basic jump requires half an hour of training, and that is one where the student is attached to an instructor. Those brave enough to jump alone need to go through four to five hours of training, which includes learning body positioning and flight maneuvers. But let's imagine once more that all flight passengers underwent this training and were ready to parachute. The next obstacle you would have to overcome is weather. If the weather is bad, as is often the case when there are flight complications, it could actually be dangerous to deploy parachutes, especially in cases of wind shear or thunderstorms. But that's not the most important factor. The key factor in deploying a parachute is the speed of the plane and its cruising altitude. An average 737 to 800 travels at 600 miles per hour when at a cruising altitude of 35,000 feet. This is considerably faster and higher than a plane designed for use in skydiving. An average skydiving plane travels at 80 to 110 miles per hour, and jumps are usually made from altitudes of 10,000 to 13,000 feet, and may even be made as low as 3,500 feet. If someone were to try a jump at a height greater than 15,000 feet, the risk of hypoxia would be very high. In fact, experienced divers who jump from 15,000 feet or higher carry supplemental oxygen. Let's assume once more that somehow all the passengers also had supplemental oxygen. What would happen if they jumped out of such a large plane going 600 miles per hour? there is a high likelihood that they would be pulled into it and smash against it. This would make for some very serious injuries at the least and would likely lead to a number of deaths. It should also be noted that skydivers maintain a distance of 500 to 1500 feet between each other when jumping. If this rule had to be followed in a plane of 200 or more people, it's safe to say that passengers would likely run out of time to jump or else would jump too quickly and crash into each other. For all these reasons, parachuting off of commercial airlines is just not a viable option. But there is one kind of parachute that could possibly help planes, and that is a whole plane parachute. In the last few years, some smaller planes have been equipped with large whole plane parachutes. These could soon be fitted on larger aircraft as well. These types of parachutes can actually slow a craft's descent and help save people. So whereas individual passenger parachutes are a big no-no, whole plane parachutes might be very welcome additions.